Hey guys, and welcome to one of my another one of my new random uh, let's plays. I'm playing Rayman for the PC. Uh, took me a while to get this set up, but now it's finally working. If I can remember what the controls are, uh, it's just doing a doing the game demo. What? 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 Oh, it's not clicked. Ha! I wasn't clicked on the window. You know how it is. Anyway, there's my test file. All I played was the first level. So let's erase it and start it and start it. Oh, it's still on erase. That's why. Uh, let's see. Uh, uh, F. F. X. I don't know, I just was picking random things. So anyway, here's the story. You, hear, you see this every time you start the game. Sorry about the audio, it's a little messed up because it's an old game. Well, that's a good thing. Harmony and balance. This apparently can't last. Peace, Peace and harmony never last. Mr. Dark steals the great protoon and defeats Batilla the fairy as she tries to protect it. Mr. Dark, was it? They couldn't come up with a more original sounding villain? The cage. Now one balanced world. Strange phenomena begin to occur. Freaks and hostile characters appear. Capturing every electron they can find. Yectoons. I probably didn't say that right. They definitely need a hero to save them now. Tear. Single tier. Raven's always on vacation between games. No problem. Go and free the electrons, Raven, and bring back the great protoon from its mysterious kidnapper. Meanwhile, the villain. I always thought this was an interesting idea. It's like the whole game is like just the bad guy watching you play the game. Cause, well, not exactly. See, the level select is through his binoculars. It's kind of funny. Anyway, first level. So those of you who have never played the game, every level has one, two, three, four, five, six of these cages that you have to destroy. And um, uh, not much of a spoiler, but... You need to get all the cages on every level. Oh, damn it, my, my control scheme's messed up. Let me fix it. How'd I fix this already? Um, okay. Uh, let's see. Jump is G, fist is that, action's that. There we go. That's what, that's cool. Oh, it's because I, it's because I deleted my profile. That's why. That makes sense. Anyway, six cages on every level. You have to, to beat the game. To get to the final level, you have to get the six cages on every single level in the game. So, I haven't played this game in many years. I played through the first level, but that was it. Just to remember what it was like. And it's exactly as I remember it. Free life. Power. See how I now have eight units, or five units of health instead of three. Anyway, I don't have any attacks. All I can do is that. So, pretty much just running and jumping so far. Um... So you get get all the guys to get the final level. So my plan is I'm not gonna use a guide to know to learn what all the cages are until I get all the upgrades. Because you need like all the upgrade you, you need like an upgrade you get halfway through the game in the first level. I can even show you where it is, actually. Let me see if I can get to it. Let's see, it's like if I can make that jump. Okay, let me try that again. There we go. Okay. Oh wait, I don't even think it's up here. Okay, this is a bonus stage. If you have ten of those blue things, you can pay it to him to pay, do a mini game, and you get a free life. But you, free lives are so abundant that it's kind of not worth it. So I might do them every once in a while, but uh, I don't feel like doing that. 
So bad guy, just avoid him. It's like a bad version of the little pink guys you save, the ones that are in the cages. That's, that sound means something appeared. Usually it means an enemy appeared, but it can also mean something good. Can't get more than five health right now. I don't think I don't know if you ever can get any more. Like I said, I haven't played this in a while. This is a mid-level checkpoint. If you die, you come back right there. It's funny because it's a little picture. And he like puts his head right in it perfectly. Fish. See, there's one of the cages right there. If I had my fist, I could hit it, but I don't have my fist yet. Because, see, I don't have hands. Well, okay, I do have hands, but they're like... They're not fully functioning hands yet. And look, there's another cage. We already found two of the cages. Way to go. Yeah! yeah! Now, be careful going ahead, because some, you can't go back. Not normally. So. Hey, look, it's that fairy that lost. Way to lose. I'm going to help you in your quest. I can give you all your powers right now, but I just really don't feel like it. I'll wait till you get to a further level and absolutely need it. Then I'll give you your powers. So now I have Rayman's famous punch. There's a short punch, a slightly charged up punch, and a fully charged up punch. And you can use them to hit these things, which bounce, which you will be using a lot. So anyway, now that I have that, we can start doing a bunch of silly stuff. But anyway, yeah, Raymond's punch, because of his his messed up body, is kind of famous. Though in later games, they made it like an energy blast instead of a punch. But his appearance hasn't really changed that much in 3D games. There has not been a Rayman game in so long. And for the people who are like, oh, what about the Rabbits games? Those aren't Rayman games. They're minigame collections with Rayman's face plastered all over it. There has not been a Rayman game since Hoodlum Havoc on the GameCube. When the Wii was first coming out, I was super excited because one of the first games was coming out was a Rayman game, and then it turned out to just be a minigame collection that was okay, but but I mean, I was w hoping for a Rayman game, and and now that just the rabbits are so popular, that's all that, that's all that, uh, wait, who, who has Rayman again? Oops, that's not what I meant to do. I can't remember who has Rayman. Is it Ubisoft? Oh, well. But whoever, they just haven't done anything with Rayman in forever, and so I'm just, oh shoot, that's not what I, uh, okay, hold on, I, er, Okay, let me try this one more time. Yeah, this game's not going to be as, as clean as my last one was for a multitude of reasons. One of them being I haven't played I haven't played this one like I just played the last one. And there's a lot of trial and error stuff. Okay. Okay, I need this to hit him in the head. No! Oh, and water instantly kills you. I thought I'd show that off. That's why I did that, of course. Anyway, what I'm trying to do... Get Rayman. See those little golden gloves? They upgrade Rayman's fist. So there's one here, and I'm going out of my way for one I don't really need. So this makes his punch more powerful, whereas another one makes it stronger. See, there was just another one right over there. There's really no reason I was doing this. I just wanted to show you how to get it. But I'll have to show you later. Anyways. Anyway, if you shoot at this guy, he ducks. So if you duck too, when your fist comes back, it'll kind of fall down. And it'll usually get him, or you can just get him when, his, or you can just get him when his back's turned. So now Rayman's fist goes super far, super fast, and those are the two upgrades. And then here's the first cage. Yay! One down, five to go in this level, and we know where two of them were. And there, there the guys go, the the uh, the Actunes or whatever they were called. So there's this guy who shoots out these bullets that are hammers. It's kind of funny. So anyway, lots of secrets in the in this game, like, take like a slightly different path and end up somewhere else, you know. Anyway. Now, I could bring down one of those plums. There, I think they're supposed to be giant plums, if I remember correctly, to get a secret that's down there. But it's not a cage, so it's not exactly that important. Uh, so that guy's gone, so let's just keep going. Okay, if you take the top path, it leads to a free life, and you have to, but you have to fight a few guys for it. You take the bottom path, it leads to this guy which you kill, this guy which you get a cage for, and then you can... And then you're done with the level, yay! And that was level one, only like 50 more to go. So you get two paths. One of them's just a save place, you just hit enter and it says you want to save, you say yes. And then this is level two. So next time we're going to go back to level one to get those cages we missed, and then hopefully we'll be able to do level two as well. So I'll see you later, bye.